Want to hear something wild? It's an event in U.S. history that has inspired thousands of books and over 40 movies, and made its location a magnet for tourists from all over the globe. But what really triggered the gunfight at the OK Corral? At a time when gun-toting gangs roamed the American West, intent on lining their pockets by any means necessary, in Tombstone, Arizona, U.S. Deputy Marshal Virgil Earp, along with his brothers, Wyatt and Morgan, were determined to keep the peace, along with their friend, Doc Holliday. Top of their most wanted list were the Clantons and the McLaurys, leading members of the Cochise County Cowboys, known to be cattle rustlers and thieves, and who the Earps blamed for the killing of a stagecoach driver and passenger during a robbery in 1881. One day, Ike Clanton and Tom McLaurie rode into Tombstone for supplies. Over the next 24 hours, they had a series of run-ins with the Earps. When members of the gang heard Clanton and the McLaurie brothers had been pistol whipped, it sparked the legendary gun battle, but not at the OK Corral, rather a stable on Fremont Street, six doors down in a vacant lot at the end of the road. The gunfight lasted for less than 30 seconds. 30 shots were fired and three men died. It was shorter and less deadly than generally depicted in the movies. So why did the gunfight at the OK Corral become so legendary? Many attribute it to the fictionalized account of the event published years later that gave the episode a whole new lease on life and made the name Wyatt Earp synonymous with law and order to this day. What are the pros and cons of historical fiction influencing public perception of historical events? 